Hi, this is video three for reverse engineering. I'm going to show you how to make a drawing out of your car assembly. So I've got my car assembly right here on the desktop. Let's pretend I unpacked it from canvas, put it on the desktop, and now I want to open it and turn it into a drawing. If I double click on this car assembly, this pops up. You can see that it's I'll summarize. Basically what it's doing is looking for the axle. If I hit cancel, the axle is nowhere to be found. You have to put all your parts on your desktop in order for your assembly to work. So you need to unpack the axle, the wheel, and the body from canvas and put them on your desktop. I hid them over here just so I could show you what would happen. So I will drag them, put them on my desktop, and there they are. Now when I click on car assembly to open it up, voila, it works. So students, you must have those on your desktop in order for this to work. Now to make a drawing. So the assembly is open, I'm going to click on the home, I'm going to click on drawing. then I'm going to click on base because I have car assembly open drawing knows that that's what I want to make a drawing for if you need to change the size of it simply click on scale and you can say it started off like way too big I could come over here and I could turn it down a notch that's actually a pretty good size for me to go with so I'm going to left click I'm going to drag it to the left, left click, drag it straight up, left click, drag it over here and get a nice uh, three dimensional view. So left click and then right click, create. So left click, left click, left click, left click, right click, create. And there, students, is the start of my drawing. I'm going to left click on this red dotted line. See that red dotted line right there? Left click on that and you can et ooh, by left click I mean right click. Right click on that red dotted line. Right click on the red dotted line then say edit view. You can change so my 3D the little 3D drawing I can change the size of just that one if I want. I can add hidden lines if I would like. I can add color if I would like. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to add hidden lines and I'm going to add color to it. Simply by clicking those places where you see my mouse or my pointer or my arrow. Hopefully I can fit it on here. Mm, that's looking iffy. I don't know if I can fit it on there or not. That doesn't look too bad. It's a little tight, but I can work with that. So, now I've got this cool view, and I've got my front view, side view, top view. What I can do now is add dimensions. So, up here, you go with annotate, then you go with dimension. I would like you to dimension the 2D ones, the ones that look like shapes, not the 3D one. Dimension these, please. So if you zoom in and you click on a line, you get a measurement. So left click on a line, drag it, left click, click OK. If you click on a dot, it's asking you from this dot to this dot. How big is that? And that's fine if you want to go green dot to green dot, but if you just want to do the lines, just click on the lines. Remember you can move your drawing around, you can zoom in and out. If I just want a line, sometimes you have to zoom in really tight in order to see it. Don't over dimension it. Um, I need the height. 
so we better click on that line. So right now I've got two inches wide, I've got the wheel at 0.25, I've got the height at three, uh, depth or length at five, I've got the distance between the wheels, the diameter of the wheel, diameter of the hole. So I think I'm actually pretty good. I don't think there's anything I need to dimension up here, so I'll leave that one alone. That will be it for how to make a drawing video. I will continue in part four with some other cool stuff.